Today we're going to talk about the Dimenesi III skull. This is an example of Homo erectus georgicus. It was found in 2001 at Dimenesi in Georgia. Uh, Georgia is northeast of Turkey and south of Russia. The team that discovered the skull was led by a man called David Lord Kipanidze and um, there was a, another person called Abisalom Vakua in the team as well who discovered this skull. They'd started looking at a cave where there was evidence of occupation by early hominids. Um, some stone tools had been found, I think altogether about 73 stone tools had been found at the site and the investigation of the site began in about 1991 but about 10 years later this Dimenesi III skull was found. So the site at Dimenesi um, was excavated from 1991. Uh, in the course of the excavations there they found five individuals. There was uh, a, an adult aged 25 to 30 that um, had, there was a skull from this individual and that was named Skull 1. Uh, there was also a young adult aged 18 to 20 that was called Skull 2. There was a teenager aged about 13 to 15 and that was Skull 3 uh, which was, became known as the Dimonity 3 Skull. There was also uh, an elderly male with just one tooth and the male, or the elderly male, had bone reabsorption um, in his jaw suggesting that he was quite elderly and um, the fact that he'd survived uh, to have just one tooth shows that um, they probably were taking care of um, their relatives there at Dimenesi. The um, it remains have been aged to about 1.8 million years ago, so quite a long time ago um, there. There was also um, a final fifth, um, fifth uh, skull, uh, the Dimenesi V skull, uh, that belonged to an adult uh, male and he was quite uh, large and robust. Now, the Dimenesi III skull, it belonged to a teenager, uh, poss it was possibly female, uh, the, the brow ridges, even though relatively large, uh, could be larger. Um, when the skull was first found it was assigned um, Homo georgicus, a se separate species, but then uh, subsequently it's been um, changed to Homo erectus georgicus. Uh, there's still qu quite some controversy as to um, what makes um, a Homo erectus. The cranial capacity of the Dimensi III skull was only 600 cubic centimetres and the Dimensi V skull was even smaller, even though it belonged to a large male, the Dimensi V skull was only 546 cubic centimetres. The skull has a large projecting jaw, um, sloping forehead and very small cranium. The brow, uh, brow ridges are quite large, the teeth also are, are very large, the canines were large and the molars were large. So if this is a female, um, she had very very large teeth and uh, that may reflect the diet that they were eating. Uh, they could have been eating raw meat. Um, with Homo erectus later on they may have learnt how to use uh, fire but um, certainly for a lot, lot of the time that the Homo erectus was around they were probably eating raw meat and um, food that in, uh, entailed quite a bit of chewing. The Dimonesi III skull was dated to about 1.8 million years ago and this is quite significant. Um, until these skulls were found um, it was thought that the hominids had only came out, come out of Africa about say 900,000 years ago or less than that. Um, the narrow nasal bones of the skull had fractures and the front teeth were missing. Um, whether this was due to an injury or whether it was um, after death um, isn't known. The, all of the remains that were there um, were probably buried quite soon after uh, dying, so it shows that the um, Homo erectus georgicus did um, have burial practices or beliefs, which again shows some elements of culture. And also the stone tools there um, 
even though not very advanced, are still you know, quite significantly um, fashioned to show that they uh, you know, had um, quite a good um, technology uh, of tools that they could use um, for butchering meat or, or uh, maybe cutting up vegetation. Now Homo erectus existed from about 1.8 million years ago to possibly 75,000 years ago. Uh, there's great dispute over uh, these dates too. The remains have been found in Java. The first uh, Homo erectus remain was found in Java um, way back in the 19th century. Um, in China um, there have been Homo erectus remains found, quite a few there, and also in Vietnam and in Africa. Now in Africa uh, there's a possibility that the Homo erectus um, are a different species called Homo ergaster, but um, it could be that they are Homo erectus in Africa and uh, possibly in Europe. Now in Europe, um, in Britain, a set of footprints were found that were about a million years old so these, in theory, could belong to Homo erectus. They could belong also to um, a descendant of Homo erectus called Homo antecessor, if, um, um, if, that, if Homo antecessor was there a million years ago. There was a stone tool found in Britain also, um, a hand axe, that was about 950,000 years old or so. And so a million years ago there were hominids in Britain, um, which is close to the northern um, extent of the range of Neanderthals, who came who were much later. So the Homo erectus were quite widespread and possibly um, what, you know, as far back as 1.8 million years ago. Now there's controversy over whether Homo erectus did evolve in Asia after a subsequent um, hominid coming out of Africa, or whether Homo erectus evolved in Africa and then migrated to Asia. Homo erectus uh, reached Dimanissi in Georgia by 1.8 million years ago though, and so they had got that far um, by that time. Um, it's possible too that other hominid species such as Homo ergaster, Homo dolphensis, Homo gautengensis, and even Homo habilis might all have been examples of Homo erectus, um, as sort of a, an evolving lineage going back close to 2 million years ago. The, the latest found remains, um, possibly dating to 75,000 years ago, were in Java near the Solo River. And there the skull volumes um, are larger than the Dimonisi III uh, Homo erectus georgicus is, um, probably twice the size, but it could be that over time the Homo erectus did evolve to have larger skulls. Uh, there's also a possibility that the Homo erectus um, interbred with the Denisovan people. Um, the Denisovan DNA shows some interbreeding with a very archaic um, form of hominid, but uh, as such it's unknown what that uh, uh, archaic form of hominid was that interbred with the Denisovans um, in Asia. Facial reconstructions of the Homo erectus um, show it had a you know, very large jaw and smaller cranium uh, when compared to modern humans. So, as as going as we're going back in time, it does show that um, human features are becoming more like um, the ape-like ancestors um, of modern humans. The the size of the skull. Um, varies from around 550 cubic centimetres up to 1100 cubic centimetres in later examples of Homo erectus. Um, here it is interesting that the um, Homo erectus um, were very very widespread and the controversy is whether these Homo erectus are direct, uh, direct ancestors of ours or not.